So I've been having troubles with my tune review app and they, on there you're able to see uh, what gear you're in and they kept telling me I was in fifth gear and I couldn't understand why. I uh, kept messing with the app and kept trying to figure it out and uh, couldn't really figure it out through the app itself and I looked up some information on what it could have been and one of the things that it pinpoints to is your ECU. Um, I mean everybody knows there's either a 5 speed or automatic ECUs and either of those can be chipped. Um, mine unfortunately is an automatic and you can tell right here by the A52 those last three numbers of uh, the serial number right here that's what indicates if it's a 5 speed or an automatic it's an automatic. There is a way to convert it and the way to do that is if you come down here where the this this is at on the bottom um, bottom right corner you'll see all these resistors down here on the bottom you can see right here there's a R18 and an R17 what I'm gonna do is remove both of these and do a jumper on R18 and that should be converted so I went ahead and took the back cover off and I located the two resistors that need to be removed which my phone doesn't focus too well but it's uh, these locations right here I already desoldered them you could tell little black dots they're holes desoldering iron has been working great right now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and pull those resistors out and do that crossover here's the two resistors I pulled out I actually had to cut one of the ends on each one and then pull them up with my little tool right here and then uh, I was able to pull them out with my fingers. This is what I'm going to use to do that loop. All it is, it's a extra pigtail that I cut off one of the other capacitors or extra resistors that I've put on the ECU so far. Is that a crossover that I did? I haven't soldered it yet, but that's how it looks right now. Well, it's all soldered on now. You saw right there a big old glob of solder. Should do pretty good, hopefully. Find out a little bit if uh, this fixes uh, the problem. Another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do while I'm I have the ECU out is I'm gonna remove um, R136 and R138 in order to move my wide band over to um, D10, which is the ELD because that actually has a zero to five volts instead of D14, which has, I believe like zero to 3.4, 3.6. You can see they're removed. Use my little diagonal cutters in order to be able to get in there. Just snip one end off, lifted it up, and then I was able to kind of pry on it a little bit, pull up and it came out just fine. Over here, I went ahead and did on on my um, harness is I had it connected to D14, which is on the bottom side over here, which is uh, two over from where it is now. Uh, two over to the left. That was D14 and I went ahead and unpinned it and moved it over to D10 which is ELD. If uh, you guys have never really pinned or depinned I do recommend finding yourself a little screwdriver like this one. Really fine tip and it fits uh, inside, inside the harness really well. You feel a little pin in there, go ahead and 
push um, forward and then up and you should be able to wiggle out the the connector as you can see here these are already disconnected these don't have any power running to them so I'm just gonna let them chill there for a little bit until I decide to cut them off or something now in uh, Neptune what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I already have um, my uh, tune already uploaded on here I'm gonna go to my preferences Oops, sorry, it's this one over here. I'm going to go to logging and I'm going to change my wideband in input from a D14 to the ELD input D10. And I've been trying to mess with all this stuff, so I'm trying to figure out which one's the best. but. I did my own 0 to 5 volts in their fuel ratio. I'm going to change it back to the AEM Yugo because I have a AEM wideband and hopefully that reads a little bit better. Hit OK. And my computer froze. Would you look at that shit? If anybody wants to uh, donate money for a new laptop, it would be greatly appreciated. Now that we're back in business, uh, I had to restart the computer, but hopefully it doesn't do that again. Back in old ass computer, still has Windows 7, so it works for now. But as I mentioned earlier, if anybody wants to send me money to fund a new laptop, be uh, greatly appreciated. Now let's go back. Uh, let's see if any of that actually saved. I'm pretty sure it didn't. So. Back to preferences, go to logging, we'll go back to the AEM Yugo. I'm going to change the wideband input to ELD, slot D10, hit OK. Now, let's see if, uh, if any of this um, updates. Move my uh, parameters over. Alright, see. Now to output. Uh, ELD again on this. Just going through, double checking, making sure I don't have to uh, change it anywhere else. All this is uh, fairly new to me, so so trying to figure it out. If anybody has any inputs of uh, how to work it better, any tips would be greatly appreciated. This is where I've been messing with my. Uh, boost controller or the boost solenoid. I went ahead and enabled it, did a target boost, inverted, put it at 31 hertz, and put my duty cycles at 16 and 5. I believe these are PSIs that I want to be at. And on here I did a, a low targets for first through fifth gear, and then my high targets for six through, or first through fifth gear again high target being 16 pounds since that's what it's tuned at about to test it out you can see right here in the top uh, right corner it says the gear hopefully when I turn this on it'll say either zero and or whatever needs to be said on it before it, would, it just had a five
This is gear one now. So something different in it. And when I turn that on, it'll shift through the gears, but it is definitely different. It would say a five before. I guess I'll have to figure it out in the morning since uh, it's kind of late right now. It's almost two in the morning, so. All right.